Greetings, friends. Welcome to another heartwarming edition of GCK Daily. Have you ever imagined when the grace of God made its grand entrance into your life and started pursuing you? Let's pause for a moment and take a wild guess. I'm certain some of you were not able to remember. And that's because grace was always present with you even before you took your first breath your first meal, your first step, or any other first you experienced. The grace of God is your most trusted life companion, leading you into God's plan for your life, His divine power and His visitation. It was grace that brought salvation. Today on GCK Daily, we join our renowned pastor teacher, Dr. W.F. Kumi, as he takes us on the journey of power visitation. Here's Dr. Kumi. I said the mercy of God will reach you today as we are coming for the first time. Let me, let me tell you this. A few years ago, I went to America and it's, uh, it was in uh, Minnesota. And one of our members knew that we were talking about the love of God. The love of God that reaches everybody. And then... Uh, as a member of the church, his sister, she was a nurse working in the hospital. And there was a woman in that hospital, a Korean woman. She was at the point of death, about to die. And then the nurse approached the doctor and said, Doctor, a pastor came from Nigeria and he's uh, talking about the love of God. Can I take this Korean woman? Can I take her to the meeting? Oh, the doctor said, if she remains here, she will die. If you take her, she will die. She might die on the road. She might die over there. And since she will die any moment from now, take her. And the sister took her, the Korean woman, in an ambulance. And then they stretched her out in that ambulance. When the ambulance reached our church, they gently brought out the stretcher and they left and they laid her at the back of the church. I didn't even know she was there. And she had never been in any church because she was not even a nominal Christian. It was, she was following the religion of Korea, their religion over there. And then I spoke like I'm speaking to you tonight and I assured everybody. And I said, even if you are here for the first time, the love of God is reaching out to you there. And I come here to announce to you that even though you are coming for the first time, the mercy and the pardon and the love and the grace of God is coming to you now in Jesus' name. And then, like we normally do, we preach. And then I said, in Jesus' name, we prayed. And the people gave a good amen. All of a sudden, as other people were giving testimony, that Korean woman at the back of the church on the stretcher, no usher went there, nobody touched her. Power came from heaven and made her to rise up. She got up, she took steps, and she walked, and she came to the platform, and she was crying, and she was saying, how did God heal me? I've never been to church. I've never called the name of Jesus for the first time. The power of Christ came upon me and look at me. She was totally made whole. That same God that did that at that time pardoned her sins, forgave her sins, and set her free and brought revival and renewal and healing and deliverance to her. That power is here tonight. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will pardon all your sins. The grace of God will come to your life tonight in Jesus' name. Here are a couple of things that we've learned thus far. When the clouds are full, it rains. When the corn is ripe, we harvest it. In the same way, friends, 
there are appointed times and seasons in our lives and the times of our visitations. Secondly, God himself appoints the days of our visitation through his grace and his mercy so he can raise you up as a witness to his everlasting love. Thirdly, I want you to listen to these individuals like you and I who experience this power of visitation. Be sure, my friend, you are next. I was diagnosed with a post cancer. And the uh, end of the day, I went to the hospital. I, I start treatment. And the whole thing happened, brought a shame and the problems in my life. Prostate cancer is one of the very dangerous cancers affecting men. Normally, from the age of 45 or 40, 45, the prostate will start enlarging. And if, if nothing happens, the person will develop what they call a lower urinary tract symptoms, what they call hesitancy, dribbling of urine, feeling of incomplete voiding, and, and the rest of them. To the extent, I'm a driver. When I drive, at times, I wait myself. So this thing brought a shame and the disgrace in my life, I end of the day, I heard that uh, Pastor Kumi is coming to Enugu, a divine touch. So I came in and believed that this time around is going to be my own turn. So the, after the administration, he said, wherever you have problems, lay your hand upon yourself. When he prayed, by the grace of God, that is all over. I went back to the hospital. They checked me. They said there's no post-ray cancer again. So they are, this is me. And they can see me, a, a grandfather. A, a, the joy in my life is so beautiful. So God bless you. Thank you, Daddy, for this great opportunity. I'm so excited to be part of those lives that have been touched through your global crusade. I was diagnosed of ovarian cyst um, the beginning of June and I was having excruciating pains. It was so severe and I've been I've been having these pains for the past four years. My name is Tavita Leo. Deborah is my daughter. We have been going to hospitals and she has been experiencing this for four years. You know, from hospital to, and while she's in school, it has always been, you know, it has been pains all through. So I attended this global crusade, this supernatural deliverance, and Daddy was showing us so many testimonies of people who were sick, testimonies that were even greater, problems that were even greater than mine. And I believe that it was me because he said I was next. I believed it. I got it on Tuesday. I got it perfectly. When the, we went for the scan again, the doctors said it was, it, it was, they cannot believe it. It was, it, you know, it was beyond what we told them that uh, we, it was uh, ovarian cyst. We told them it was ovarian cyst, but when they checked, they said that was, there was nothing in it. So this indeed is a miracle. I'm fine by the grace of God. I am okay. Thank you, daddy, very much. Now that's what you call a power visitation. I believe that right now, right here, you can have power visitation. Pastor Kumiyi now comes with God's free offer of grace and prayer for all of your needs. Father, tonight we thank you. We thank you because you sent Jesus Christ to be the savior of the world and the savior of every citizen in the world that will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. As these have indicated and have put action, expression to their faith, I pray, Lord, by your grace, in your mercy, and in your love, forgive them in Jesus' name. 
bear witness in their hearts by your spirit that their sins are forgiven. Lord, put definite confirmation in their heart that all the sins they have confessed, all the sins they have forsaken, that, that Lord, all those sins they are forgiven and wiped away in Jesus' name. And the grace to begin to live in newness of life, grant them that grace in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, the punishment of sin, the perdition, and the judgment should have, that should have come upon them, you roll everything away, and they are free from the sin, from the judgment, both now and ever in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. As you believe, the Lord will honor your personal faith. Are you ready? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the assurance we have that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that everything he does is in that name, is in his word. I send forth your word of power and your word of healing upon everyone now. Touch them, heal them in Jesus' name. By your stripes, were healed, and you sent the word, and you healed them, and you take infirmity and sickness from everyone as your word enters. I pray that your word that comes to everyone now will bring healing, will bring deliverance, will bring signs and wonders, and will bring the breaking of you from every life in Jesus' name. Open those blind eyes. Make those lame, weak legs to rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Lord, put those broken bones together and make them strong by the name and the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Cancer, vanish away. Tuberculosis, vanish away. Incurable disease vanish away in Jesus' name. That tissue of blood dry up right now in Jesus' name. Everyone here, everyone there, everyone everywhere, I send Christ's power in the word unto you right now. And as the word comes to you, and you embrace it and receive it and believe it. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Lord, give the signs and wonders. Manifest the healing. Manifest the deliverance. At this very moment now in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You got it. I got it. Now you put expression to your faith. And whatever you were not able to do before, do it now on the basis of that personal faith. Your miracle is there already. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Sing it with me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. I worship you. God does indeed have a plan for your life. 
and the rain of laughter. Love and joy will flourish your life. Thanks for being part of GCK Daily. We post new videos right here on a regular basis to keep you strengthened in your faith. When you share and subscribe to our channel, it helps to spread the life-saving message across the globe. Please let us know how you've been impacted by our ministry in the comments section below. Keep in touch with us on all our social media platforms and we look forward to connecting with you as you join us from across the globe at the next Global Crusade. Thank you. Thank you.